Hello YouTube, this is the Computer Tips and I'm back with another tutorial and this time we're going to be looking at a new YouTube feature called InVideo Programming. So to get to InVideo Programming you want to go to Video Manager Alright so now that we're in InVideo Manager basically we want to go to settings and here under settings we want to go to in video programming and uh, it's pretty simple here basically it's gonna show a little box you get to pick where it's shown at the top left top right bottom left bottom right and basically this little box will lead to your channel not only can you add that but you can as well add videos to show up as a kinda in the video itself and it's a pretty good feature if um, you want people to click on a certain video it's like allowing you to feature a video throughout the rest of your videos so maybe you can have your latest video be featured throughout every single video you make that way um, others can uh, reach it and I am currently using this feature right now and if you check out my latest video on how to create a system restore point you can see right down here is the little box and if I were to click it it will lead you to my channel and that's basically it it's a uh, straightforward and it's a really nice feature now I don't know if it's available for everybody since I know YouTube has been rolling out of rolling out a lot of um, partnership features slowly so maybe this might be for people who have a certain amount of view or it might be available for everybody but I recommend you check out your settings and see if you have this feature because it's a nice feature to use and it kind of gets people who are just stumble upon your video it gets them to go to your channel or go to a certain video you want them to go and right here I'm going to show you what it looks like if I were to click uh, select a video to feature and then I can click a video that I want feature and then I will click save but um, I'm not going to be featuring any videos I just want my channel branding basically and that's pretty much it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did leave it a like below and what are your thoughts on this feature is it a good feature and would you be using this feature I'll catch you guys later